What's up, everybody? We're back with another edition of 95X Cares, your community animal rescue effort, brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar and the Roofing Guys, helping the community every single time. I am Dixon, joined as always by Jenny. How are you? I am doing fantastic today. How are you? You know, not bad, not fully prepared for winter, but it is mid to late November, so what mm -hmm. can you do, right? Like, we choose, so we choose to live here. I'm going to tell you that that's why I'm fantastic because I was really pumped when I woke up this morning and saw the snow. I am, I'm living for it. This is the time of year that I want it. So let's go. <laughs> you must live way closer to your job than I do. It's about 10 minutes. So yeah. 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 <laughs> that explain it. All right. So we have, we say this every week, but we have a very special dog this week. It's Amy. And I don't know that we've, fe have we featured her before? I don't know if we have yet. I don't think we have. I know that she's been sort of back and forth. Uh, she's been hanging home. out for some time now. Yeah. Yeah. So she's at Recyclable and she does need to be the only dog in the house. But uh, when you see her and you've already seen her, you'll understand that it's totally worth it to be a solo dog house because Amy's pretty amazing. She's literally, like, she's she's crate trained. She is potty trained. So if we back up, she was super stressed when she was at the shelter. Uh, so when strays come in, they typically all go to be in our bunkhouse if they're coming from the city. And that shelter environment just really isn't good for some dogs. Uh, but Recyclable is amazing. They go in, they do some testing. They see what the personalities are like outside of the kennels. Uh, and Amy was just glorious. Uh, she got into a foster family who has continued to do amazing work with her. Like I said, potty trained, crate trained. Uh, obviously, you'll see these pictures. Like her favorite activities are sunbathing, um, cuddling, and like getting inside blankets, being warm. And she's even up to do like an adventure, go on like a hike. She's kind of just like she wants her people to be hers, and she doesn't want to share them with anybody else. And we have featured dogs like this in the past. It has not hindered them into finding their own home. So that's why I was like, you want to know what? It's the holiday season. I'm going to pull for Amy because I don't think it's a deterrent. I think it's just, if we think about some of our personalities, some people are just like, they're they're not it for us. We don't want to be around them. And that's how she feels about other dogs. Uh, so if you have that capacity and you're thinking like, yes, I want to own a dog. I don't want multiple dogs. Like Amy could be yours. And she is just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with these pictures. And if I didn't have a dog, I'd be, like, calling them right now, like, all right, pick me. <laughs> like, I'm ready because she's, I love her. Yeah, the temperament is great. The fact that she's crate trained, she's potty trained, she's between the ages of two and three, which is ideal. So she's reached sort of her full size, so you know what you're looking yep. for. Uh, but she's also mature enough that she's out of that puppy phase. Not that all dogs right. don't get the zoomies, but like you're out of the puppy phase, you're out of the chewing phase, you're out of the, oh, yeah. the training yeah. phase, outside <laughs> of like, you know, like the the training that you do for whether you want them to like run the obstacle course or, you know, whatever it is that you want to continue their education on. Mm -hmm. um, personally, if it's me, I love those buttons, the dog yeah. buttons. Yeah, right, they're like, hysterical. Uh, those are great. I wish uh, Wiggles wasn't almost nine because I feel like that would be something he would really like too. But I feel like Amy's young enough to teach her that. Yep. And she's, I think that it sounds to me like she's just one of those dogs who's like really eager to like please her people. But she like really just enjoys what she enjoys. Uh, so if you are somebody who loves sunbathing too or loves being outside and just kind of like if relaxing is your vibe, Amy is your dog. Like I don't, I don't understand how somebody who doesn't enjoy relaxing as much as Amy does hasn't found her yet because it will be like kindred spirits and it's just, they're going to hit it off. And I know that that home exists. I know that there's, even if it's like somebody who's, you know, 50, 60 is like just retired. Like we're kind of just like slowing things down. We're going to like, I don't know, do more outdoor activities and kind of enjoy life. Like, that's her pace. That's going to be perfect. So uh, if this type of household also sounds like you, then uh, you should be hitting them up ASAP because she's she's perfect. 
She really is. And uh, she's uh, one of those, I don't know, I call them cow print dogs. She's <laughs> white, but she got a lot of splotches on her too. And it is like that brindle that's like super attractive that you find in a lot of pitties. And she's just a very sharp looking dog. And any yeah. time a dog hits two different colored ears, I'm 100% in. You're sold. You're like, sold all right, immediate. I'm going to watch. And she has a very, like, boopable nose. So, like, there's going to be pictures, too, that are very uh, prominently featuring her nose when she gets all snuggly. And you just kind of you just want to boop it. <laughs> like, it's very just really so. cute. And I'm like, she's going to get so sick of whoever gets her. She's going to be like, why are you always playing with my nose? And it's because it's that cute. Uh, she is just, she is beautiful. And I think that we would be doing her a service to get her a home for the holidays. Absolutely. And again, I think she would probably be the kind of dog that would be down for the reindeer antlers. I think so, too. She kind of seems like she has that chill personality. So uh, get her in the family picks. Get her get her home now so that you can get those cards out and make some grand announcement that you have adopted a child named Amy. Absolutely. And Amy is once again uh, available at Recyclable Bully Breed Rescue. The link will be up on the screen as well as the information to reach out and uh, get your application in. That's the first part of the process. That um, is. Get that rolling. Even if it doesn't sound like Amy is for you, but you are in the market for adopting a pet, uh, get as many applications as you can out with the organizations that you regularly frequent online. Uh, if you're looking at an organization's uh, listings, on a regular basis, why not fill the application out? It puts you immediately at the top of the pile. That's right. So get to it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So Jenny, thank you again for bringing us Amy. Uh, I have a good feeling that she's going to find her forever home well before the holidays. And we can't thank you enough for bringing her to our attention so that we can bring them, bring the attention of our listenership as well, because I think the perfect home for Amy is out there. Me too. And I, uh, I look forward to featuring two uh, next week. Awesome. Well, I look forward to that as well. This is 95X Cares. It's our community animal rescue effort, and it's brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar and the Roofing Guys from 95X. We'll see you next week.